Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today's video tutorial is about a new sensor. It's a light sensor ISL2903. To gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over the website that is controleverything.com and here search on the sensor. Now, let's have a look over uh, its sensor that's ISL2903 light sensor with programmable gain 0 to 64. K Lux. Now as you can see these are some of its features. Also you can purchase the sensor from here. You can add to cart here. I will be interfacing the light sensor ISL2903 with an Arduino Nano and for that I require a code. So go to resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample. Now you can have the Arduino code sample as a zip file from here. You can download it from this site. Also, you can have the opportunity to download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now what we require is to collect some hardware along with the sensor and to make connections for the interfacing and the working. For the hardware connections, first of all our requirement is of the light sensor ISL 29003. Now this here is our Arduino Nano as you can see on my screen and this here is an I2C sheet. It's available and can be purchased from the website controleverything.com. Now the reason we use this shield is to make connections with other hardware, other I2C devices and that job should be a lot easier. That's why we use it. Now make the connection and gently place over the shield and the Arduino Nano like this. And to make a connection among the sensor and the shield, we need this, a connecting cable. I make the connection and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the I2C shield also the same rule. Finally we need to power up our Arduino Nano and for that we require mini USB cable just like this and gently put it on the power jack and we have the connection setup completion. Now what we require is the Arduino port so that we can interface the sensor with that. Now, I will show you how to interface the sensor along with the Arduino code and to get the Arduino code what we have to do is to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen. Now log in here and here search for the sensor that is ISL29003 and here we are with the sensor and this is the Arduino code and let's have a look over the instructions first. So as you see on my screen, we have to download and install Arduino software on our local machine and this is the link which will help us to install the Arduino. Let's have an overview of the instructions we need to follow to pursue this software. As you can see, we have to download the Arduino software and it can be run on Windows, Mac and Linux as you see and all the relevant information is there, right correct. Now get back to the Arduino code we have to explore. As you see, it's a .ina extension file. Now, in the code, as you see, first thing is to include the wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x44. Now, in the void setup function, we have initialized I2C communication and serial communication and set the baud rate equal to 9600. Now, comes we have to come the writing section part, which we say that we have to select command register having address 0, 0 and we have select normal operation mode it's the command we are sending by 0x80 in the second set we have to select control register having address 0x01 and we are sending an, a range that is 64k lux as you see and the command is 0x0c so we are done with the writing part now what we want is to get the data back from the sensor that's the reading section and we are selecting the data uh, register that is 0x04 and we are requesting and reading two bytes of data as you can see for luminance. After that, we are pulling the values. We want to convert the data which is according to the formulas which are described clearly in the data sheet for the sensor ISL2903. At the very end of our code, we have the output to be displayed on the serial monitor which is the ambient light luminance and the unit is LUX. Now, as we are done with the explanation, what we require is to show the working, the practicality of this code. Let's have it. Now comes the practicality part, that is the working, we have to show the working. So for that, first step is to copy this code and dial code as you can see on my screen and open up the terminal for the Arduino. Now in the Arduino terminal, we have to paste the code as you can see on my screen and save it by the name ISL29003 as you can see. Yeah, that's correct. 
and here we go and we have to verify and compile the code now it's done now upload the code the code is being uploaded and as you can see on my screen it's done now what we require is to open up the serial monitor so that we can have the data displayed on the screen so let's have it and as you can see we have the ambient light luminance in the LUX and it's almost constant because there is no interference regarding the light supply but when I apply or put some object over the sensor you can see the ambient light luminance changes or specifically it's decreasing now now as I move closer to the sensor the object it's further decreasing down now when I remove it it goes back to normal but instead when I take a light source near the sensor the ambient light luminance is increasing and as you can see the value increases as I move closer the light source to the sensor so this is how the sensor works along with the Arduino code now what we require is to have the benefits the applications of the sensor let's have a look over that also the ISL29003 is an integrated light sensor with a 16-bit integrating type ADC. I2C uses selectable programmable LUX range select for optimized counts for LUX and I2C multifunctional control and monitoring capabilities. The internal ADC provides 16-bit resolution while rejecting 50Hz and 60Hz flicker caused by artificial light source. It's applicable in a lot of applications such as ambient light sensing, backlight control, temperature control systems, camera light meters, lighting controls and a lot many. Now you can purchase the sensor from the website controlleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab. After clicking on the resource you can download the code as a zip file. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would just like to make it clear that any part, if you have any issues, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on community page. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over instructables.com for us. And to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can go to our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.